We've teamed up with Epic TV athlete Jonathan Seagrest to bring you some pro tips on sport climbing. Hey everybody, uh, Jonathan Segrist here. I'm gonna show you three nifty ways to use a stick clip. A uh, stick clip is basically a really simple tool that I take with me sport climbing every day. It enables me to clip the first draw of a project I'm trying if I'm worried about uh, ground fall. If I wanted to hit the ground every time I fell, I'd be a boulderer. I'm gonna show you how to use this thing. It's awesome. It can help you do three essential things, and that is one is to put a draw and your rope on the first draw. You're gonna take the draw like so and load it into this little device. Pretty simple, like that. This device is gonna hold the gate open for you and also keep the draw nice and sturdy in there. And then grab your rope. Again, just like you were clipping, you wanna make sure that your side of the rope is coming out from the draw like so. At that point, just reach the device up to the first straw, boom. There you have it, so easy, and now I'm safe for the first few meters of my climb. Okay, so the second method is to get your rope into an already existing quick draw on the wall. So with this tool, you're gonna load your rope in like so. Keep in mind, paying attention to the direction of the gate on the carabiner, you don't want it to be back clipped, you want the rope to be coming from up against the wall, through the draw, and to you as the climber. So I make sure that the rope is loaded in this device in the proper way. It's pretty simple. You just wrap one side around a second time. It kind of keeps this, the rope a little bit more stable. Reach the rope up to the draw, and then just pull on the other side, like so. And it really simply pulls the rope in like that. You can see here I'm not back clipped. I'm ready to tie in and be safe for the first few meters of my climb. With this tool specifically, you can actually remove draws that are already on the wall. So maybe you clip the first or the second bolt, you climb up, you're looking to climb a 6A, it turns out it's 8A and you're just not into it. So. You can actually remove your first two draws without having to go and leave a beaner behind or climb the route. In order to do that, you first need a rope through the draw, like I just showed you in the last one. Now, the reason to have the rope through the draw is you basically just pull down on the draw and apply pressure, and then you take the stick clip like so, just push it up on the beaner like this, then you can easily get your draw back You've rescued your draw, you don't have to leave any of your kit behind, and you don't have to climb that heinous looking 8A that you thought was maybe a really nice 6C warm up. <laughs> okay, so there you have it. Three different ways to make good use of your clip stick. If you want more tips like this, stay tuned to Climbing Daily's coverage of the Arcteryx Alpine Academy event in Chamonix in June. I'm Jonathan Segrist, and this is the Keepy Uppy Challenge. Oh! Five, four. Oh! Oh! Right? Damn it. No. Whoa! Not down the. I can get five. Oh! Nope. I lost track of count. I couldn't count towards the end, there's so many. Oh, what's up? What's up? That's what's up. Keep you up each challenge. I'm out. <laughs>Make sure you check out all the epic TV coverage of the Arcteryx Alpine Academy when it comes to Chamonix in June.
Right, we thought it was time for another six send, so check out this one. It's Chandler Dub All Stars 7C Plus at Puzzle Box Roof at Priest Draw. What a packed show. Thanks for watching. See you soon.